Dr. Squishball asks, what are some chemical reactions to do at home? To answer that, I wanted to take a look at five different chemical reactions that you can do with stuff you probably have laying around the house, and I brought in some squints to help me out. These reactions should be done with proper safety and adult supervision. I'm an adult. <clears throat> Does that feel like a normal egg? <laughs> no, right? That's not a normal egg, it's all squishy. In this first reaction, place a raw egg in a jar full of vinegar and wait at least one day. It's a slow reaction. This is a classic acid-base reaction where an acid, in this case vinegar, reacts with a base, in this case calcium carbonate, or the shell of the egg. Acids are molecules that give up a proton, a base grabs that proton. In this experiment, the vinegar is giving protons to the egg shell, which is made from a base, forming carbon dioxide, which makes the air bubble around the egg. This reaction is slowly eating away molecules from the eggshell, and eventually the shell gets so thin that it's basically gone. So eggs are, eggs are usually hard, right? Yeah. Yeah, but this one's not hard, huh? It's squishy. It's squishy, right. It's a squishy egg. Here, I have nail polish remover. Do you wear nail polish? No, but yeah. girls do. In this demonstration, we use nail polish remover, chemically known as acetone, which is good at dissolving certain materials. It's kind of like how water is good at dissolving sugar, making the sugar seem to disappear. Acetone is especially good at dissolving styrofoam. So good, in fact, that you can make an entire block of it seem to disappear just by touching the two together. Wow. Yeah, you see that? It's pretty cool, I right? Really, the acetone dissolves the styrofoam, making it seem to disappear, which releases all the trapped air in the styrofoam. And now it's all gone. <gasps> Have you ever had cabbage? Mm, don't know. Don't know. It's, it's a vegetable, and I don't think it tastes very good. But I'm sure it's healthy for you. When we talk about the pH of something, we are saying how strong of an acid or base something is. But you can test the pH of liquids in your house with glorious red cabbage juice. Side note, this has to be the only good use of red cabbage. All you do is boil red cabbage until the water starts turning a dark bluish purple. This color means the liquid is a neutral pH, meaning it isn't an acid or a base. It's in between. That's because all that is in the cup right now is red cabbage and water. Water is neutral. If the juice turns red when you add something, whatever you added was an acid. If it turns green or yellow, that thing you added was a base. Add any liquid you want to some of the juice. Liquids with little coloring work best. As we already mentioned, vinegar is an acid. If you add vinegar, the juice turns a red color. Cleaners are usually a base, so oven cleaner has a strong base in it, and it'll turn the juice green. Acids are sour to the taste, so when we add some sour lime juice, we see that it is an acid. Try it out and find out what things in your kitchen or acids or bases. Elephant toothpaste is a classic chemical reaction. A household version of it uses yeast. Remember, yeast is a living thing. It's a fungus. You can wake up these sleeping critters with three tablespoons of warm water and let them feast on half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. As the yeast eats the hydrogen peroxide molecules, it breaks them up, creating oxygen gas and water. It's so fluffy. Yeah. It's hot. It is hot. That's a good observation, right? So it's releasing energy. If you feel it, you can feel it kind of steaming. By adding soap, the oxygen gas gets trapped in the soap, creating soapy, foamy bubbles that spew out of the bottle. The last reaction deals with fire and lighter fluid, so this one definitely needs some adult help. Get some sand and douse it in lighter fluid, make a pile of sugar and baking soda in the middle, and light it on fire. Slowly a carbon snake should rise from the sand, or a carbon larvae, depending on the day. Like tiny little larvae. There are several reactions happening here, but the main one is how the sugar reacts with oxygen in the air and the fire to break apart into pure carbon atoms and water. The snake itself is mostly made from the carbon atoms, similar to what pencil lead is made out of. So try these reactions out for yourself. 
keep asking questions and keep on squinting. Hi, Gil. Hey, squinting. <laughs>